here on Devil's Lake, in and around these flooded trees to demonstrate another LX5 feature, which is called narrow beam transducer. And it's labeled as NBT on the faceplate of your LX5. And what this feature allows an angler to do is switch between cone angles. Uh, that's where the dual beam transducer, that larger transducer on an LX5, comes into play. A 20 degree transducer allows you to see a coverage area approximately one third the depth fished. If you're in 21 foot of water, you're seeing a diameter circle seven foot across. And uh, that creates an issue when you're fishing tight to cover or on sharp breaks. We're going to cover sharp breaks in a minute. We're going to stick to heavy cover first. Uh, where I'm fishing right now, here near to this flooded tree, is a great example because it allows you to visually see the cover above the water and understand how this narrow beam transducer, labeled as NBT on the keypad of your LX5, really comes into play. Say I've got a, a school of bluegill, crappie, or perch relating to the bottom of this group of trees. When I'm fishing my 20 degree transducer, obviously the cone angle is wide enough that it overlaps into the coverage. That's going to return a signal from the tree and clutter up my display. It's actually going to allow those fish to hide in the shadow, the sonar shadow of the tree. So we solve that problem by using the narrow beam transducer function on our LX5, one touch on the keypad, NBT instantly switches from that 20 degree transducer, takes it down to 8 degree. That means instead of having three and a half foot of coverage and 21 foot of water off to the side of my hole, I'm down to under a foot and a half. That means my sonar signal is nice and concentrated. It goes down next to the structure instead of into it. If there's perch crop or bluegill milling around this tree, I'm going to see just what I want to see. The bait, the fish, and the bottom versus being obstructed by the structure. Another scenario where this narrow beam transducer really comes into play is on sharp breaks. And hey, I'm a walleye fisherman at heart. Uh, many people that ice fish fish species that relate to sharp breaks. And uh, one of the scenarios you'll run into fishing a wide beam transducer is that on a sharp break, the sonar signal goes down in a cone. But by the nature of sonar, where that cone hits that break, the shallowest portion will be shown as the bottom. Doesn't sound like a big deal until you realize that fish that hug along breaks, like perch, walleyes, crappie, can hide in what's called a dead zone. Uh, you've got the sonar showing the top of the break as the bottom. Any fish below that won't be visible on your sonar. Again, the solution is the use of the narrow beam transducer. Switch from the 20 degree, which shows a wide area on that break, snap it down to an 8 degree transducer. It shows much less of that break, just the area that you really want to focus in. You'll see your bait, the fish, and the bottom.